week begins as it tends to do with a Monday. And some of you may notice that I am not Tom, even though I am also white and hairy. Um, the reason behind this uh, is because Tom's basically taken a week off. And so I'm afraid you've got me for the day. Um, and so... Wait. This door doesn't have a doorbell. What the... Oh, it's my new PC! Look at it! It's gonna have lots of porn on it. <sighs> but no time for that, because now I have to go to the hospital with Alison because her blood pressure is up. She just had like a doctor's appointment to check it. It's too high, which is a problem when you're seven, eight months pregnant. So it's off to the hospital we go again. Yay! Because baby, you got bad blood. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the words. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I actually left Alison at the hospital because um, I have to get back for an Addison Lee delivery of merch that's going to live in our garage. Um, so suffice to say, the blood pressure seems to be okay. Uh, she had another check and that seemed to be okay, but she's going to have some further tests and stuff. <sighs> yep, we're doing this bit again. To complete the trilogy of things I can actually cook, we're making chili con carne. Oil. Oil. Oil will be mad if I can't. <laughs> corner just came. I tried to take the packaging off and the corner just came off. Yep. The other corner came off! Oh, fucking wank bastard! We have a pan and it's cooking. We have some meat. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna bung it in! Now that that's ooh, smoky, very smoky. Now that the meat is successfully bunged, we are on fire. Fuck. Right. So we need to cut up an onion. Uh, now everyone asks me, as a professional chef, how do you stop crying when you're cutting an onion? And this is a true tip. This is a true tip. It works. You need to get a spoon, a little spoon, and you put it under your tongue. And then you just fucking kill yourself. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. Onions always make me cry. Because my mum died on an onion farm. It's Alison's favourite, red kidney beans. Alison, if you had to describe red kidney beans in one word, what would it be? No. And here's the thing, we don't bung these in. We only put in a select few. No, no, not you. Not you. Not you. That one's racist. Alright, now we have garlic bread cooking in the oven, we can cook our rice, and then all we do is wait. No! I'm sick! Ah! And now we just go on the assumption that everything is cooked. Fingers crossed! That's hot. So it turned out with all the excitement of going to the hospital and cooking dinner and also a really big script I had to get done today, I never even got a chance to open my new PC. Oh well, maybe tomorrow. Anyway, that's done with me. This day is done with me. You're done with me. Okay, over the Sammy. Right, bye. Great wrap up. Happy Tuesday, motherfucker. <laughs> so Tom was all like, do you want to do it last week? And I was like, hell yeah. And then I was like, oh, wait, I'm just editing all day. And then Elliot was like, don't worry, I'll make it interesting by editing and animating. So welcome to the Sammy Extravaganza Tuesday. Roll the title, Elliot. Man, that was a catchy theme tune. Play it one more time. Dude, nice. Uh, next order of business is I need to feed my neighbour's cats. I'm really hoping they're in. All this footage will be very anticlimactic. Here we go. Oh, we have kitties. What up? What up? Oh no, Elliot, this video isn't sponsored by Felix. You better blur out the names. Just, just motion track it. Just motion track out the names. Actually, no, change of tactic. Um, because I want to call out Felix here, because their tagline is literally as good as it looks. And yet... That looks fucking vile. Grubs up, motherfuckers. I said...
Grubs up, motherfucker. Now I'm off to the YouTube Space London to do some bloody editing. Also, Elliot, talking of editing, if you could just replay those cat clips, uh, but make them have laser eyes, I think that would get a lot of views. Grubs up, motherfucker. So very out of the blue, my partner manager <clears throat> texted me saying, do you want to come and have lunch with the VP of YouTube? To which I was like, Sure. Hey Elliot, replace Hannah with a much more famous YouTuber, please. There it is. That was my attempt at making a day of editing look interesting. Uh, you know what will make it more interesting? Dinosaurs. Roll the clip, Elliot. <laughs> right, so we did. So these boys came over. It's and us, the boys. Do some, do some waving boys. That's nice. Had some Indian food. Mm -hmm. Played some Joking Hazard. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have filmed it, but Elliot agreed that he'd do a, a, an animated reconstruction of our evening, so... Cool, that's fire. fire! Play it! Yeah. I used to have a three-inch floppy. Oh, mate, that's really good. Whoa. Right, I need, I'm jealous. I need to feed some cats now. I enjoyed all the sex. What a good vlogger I am. See, this is the bit where I would have ended with footage of cats, because I just put food in their bowls, but... They're just not turning up, so... Elliot, you know what to do. Grubs up, motherfucker! Am I a hilarious vlogger, or did I essentially milk the fuck out of the Elliot covering my ass joke to hide my ineptitude? That's for you to decide. Happy Tuesday, zoom into the eye. Hi, it's Wednesday, my dudes. Um... <laughs> Today is going to be a weird one. I've got a lot of work to do. You can see my little camera set up. But I'm going to hopefully take you through it. The weather is looking a bit abysmal. And there's the dog butt. Um, we've got a nice view of the dog butt. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping that we'll have a fun day together. So my day begins with very strong coffee. Uh, and I need to get myself set up. Oh, that's perfect. So... Today what I'm going to be filming is me doing a commission piece, uh, it's going to be two mermaids and it's going to be A3 which is very exciting, it's going to be good for that. Are you going to help me out? Are we going to do some art together? Do you want to do some art? Uh, you can just sit there and be cute huh? Oh, just did a bit of me sketching these and then putting these out. I don't feel super confident in this, but I think it'll be good in the end. Yeah. There are moments living with Tom where he does things that I really just don't understand. <laughs> so yesterday we were talking about this pug, ooh, money box that I got him like last year, I think for Christmas. And he was like, yes, yeah, time to empty that. And uh, I come in here this morning into our lovely living room and I just find this. Babe, what the fuck? Why? Why? Are you looking at my cool shoes? Are you looking at my cool shoes that Tom got me, huh? Oh no, don't care. Fuck fashion. Fuck fashion! Do you ever get that feeling where you only have two pairs of hands but a million things to do? That's kind of how I'm feeling today. But I'm not gonna let it get me down. I've got some orders to rifle through. My camera just died on a piece that I was going to film for my next video. But I'll do some orders, just for the dog. We're going to wait a little minute, and then we're going to want to walk. But for now... And let's get into it! So I got a really cool commission the other day from a lady who wants to love her body more, which I really enjoy because at the moment I've been going through a lot of uh, self-doubt. I've gained a bit of weight and I know how hard it is to properly love your body when it changes, especially when it's been the same way for a while. Um, body positivity is something I'm really into at the moment, so I'm going to do a piece on, well, it's going to be a different body type that I used, from what I usually do and we're going to celebrate the fact that everyone has a different body type. Okay, I could say that's just about done. Obviously I need to erase everything and do some finishing touches. But we need to take this one out. Squidge. Because he's being naughty. 
He's being not the best. Can I sit down? Oh my god. Oh, still not very good at the catching thing, are you? But it's really funny coming here. Because when I moved to London, I thought I wouldn't have a big wide world like this anymore. I thought it was all just, you know, concrete. Everything was concrete. Because in the town I used to live in, we had a lot of countryside, lots of forests, lots of everything. And I'm super grateful for this place because it honestly makes me feel like I'm at home. <laughs> Which, I mean, I am at home now. I've been living with Tom for a while. But it still gives you those nice homey vibes. Just a small bean in a big wide world. Please dear god help me. I'm so addicted to stickers. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've had a bit of a bad day. Nothing has been going the way I wanted it to. I know that's life. But my god has it been frustrating. My camera kept cutting out. The battery's completely dead. My prawns went off. I'm really upset about my prawns. They're meant to last until like months away. He hasn't been so good. This one right here. Yeah, you know you've been bad. And it's just been challenging. So I'm really sorry if the vlog isn't all peachy and great. I think that's just life. I'm gonna hand you over to Squidge now. You hear that? Squidgy? You gotta do the work now. It's your turn to vlog. Ready? Ooh. Hello, it's me, Squidge. So I spent the day watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 7. While I enjoyed the show as a whole, I found the series finale to be rushed and heavily reliant on Deus Ex Machinas. It was a fairly disappointing conclusion to an otherwise enjoyable show, but I would still recommend it based on the likability of the characters and overall charm of the series. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bok bok, buff buff, heck, squidge. <laughs> I need to leave. Amy, 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 Amy. Let's go to the forest. We're doing this, we're making a break for it. We gotta get out of here, we gotta go, 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 go. I'm not gonna kiss you, I'm not gonna kiss you. Just some horses. Okay guys, we live here now? Yep, we're living here now forever? Yeah. Okay, let's move in. Someone's turned into a cartoon and trapped me. We did it, we have successfully escaped city life and are now living in the wilderness amongst the wild horses which you can't see in the background but now we should set up shelter for the night and just Wait, survive the, what the i packed the internet yeah i packed twitter i'm helping i'm doing the most of the helping amy is also there but you can't see her Oh my god, the tent can speak! <laughs> Day 9000, maybe. I've already lost count, it's been so long. We have set up a rudimentary shelter here in the forest and um, we intend to wait it out. <laughs> also, I truly and honestly believe this horse has a quest for us. Show us, horse. Show us the way. Tell me about the bedroom, ain't me? Well, welcome uh, to the bedroom. As you can see, it sleeps three. Um, it's uh, it's very spacious, very homely. Um, there's uh, a sleeping bag. Um, and if you look in the corner here, there is a hoodie and that comes with the property. And so... that comes with the property. Also, day 41 and a half, we couldn't find Morrison's, so our primary food source has been cut off from us, and now we must hunt for survival. We've not seen Keith for weeks, maybe days even. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I can still hear him. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Keith and I have left Amy to defend our new home whilst we scavenge for food. 
it's very wild out here, jungle-like almost. So we've had to just go with bare essentials, um, like brioche buns and um, Glade vanilla with magnolia. It's a doggy dog world out there and we're just, we're trying to get by. We're trying to do our best with what little we have here in nature. Um, nom, 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 nom. Day F and uh, it grows dark and we grow weary. But we have replenished our souls with food from the distant hunting grounds of Morrison's and now we wait for the sun to set and for the rituals to begin. I like trains! God! That... <laughs> <laughs> also, Amy, we have tamed this wild beast. What are you going to call it? Oh. <laughs> It's a it's not big long dog. That is a tall boy. <laughs> that is a tall long faced boy. We're doing it. I think we're finally learning how to survive here in the forest. And maybe we'll live here forever. I don't know. What I do know is that it is genuinely getting dark now. We've lit a fire. We're gonna have some barbecue food. And when it gets completely dark, I genuinely won't be able to film anymore because no lights anywhere ever. So I'm going to sign off now and hand things over to Justine and I will see you last week. I don't... That's too much stuff. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. Why do I make myself so sick? If I just pretend he knows, that doesn't make you feel better. I can feel it in my boob. I'm just gonna have to do it. It's like ripping off a band-aid. Are you getting out now? <laughs> basically, Tom has no idea that I'm here for basically forever. When we decided that, when we decided what our days were for last week, I got the email saying that I could come for school like five minutes afterwards. And that was a week ago. I didn't even tell Oscar before I bought a ticket. <laughs> just bought it. No. And then I was like, hey, can you pick me up, please? Oh, I feel so sick. Oh. Come on. Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in. What the fuck? <laughs> I live Wrong. here now. Did you chew it? Yo, he never chews anything. Did you chew it? So this is your first time eating squidge? I know. Maggie. I talked to him on FaceTime once. <laughs> True. Big <laughs> Yay! Yay. I don't like it. Stop I it. No, stop. So is it your Why favorite? Why is there a kid on the garden? <laughs> so oh, Why is it this black? This Peppa Pig! Oh, god. oh my god! Why is this happening? I want to die. <laughs> Real. Never leave. Oh. I don't have to. Ah, oh, guys, come on. Come <laughs> Basically, I'm here for school now for three years. So I used my very last chance to surprise Tom. And it worked, obviously. Um, and then I took a nap and died. And then Aaron and Harris came over, which I barely filmed any of because I was still half asleep. Um, but yeah, I found out that my school visa got approved five minutes after we picked our days for last week. So I didn't know when I picked today. I had no idea. And then I told everyone but Tom. So success. I did it. Didn't I didn't know. I was so nervous, I was shaking. So that's why it looks like shit <laughs> when I filmed it. Jet lag is a huge bitch, but Elliot's probably filming right now. So you'll see that. Sunday. I'm not